Hello everyone, John of All Games here. How have you guys been? I've missed you. I've been out of action for a few months here on YouTube at least. And uh, this is Take on Mars. It is a Mars exploration space simulator from Bohemia Interactive and it's on early access Steam right now. You can pick it up for the low price of $12.99 if you like it. And I'll show you the game in a moment. I just want to kind of tell you what I've been up to. Um, as you may or may not know, I was working on the house and we had family in town and this and that. I was just kind of taking a break from YouTube to reset and, you know, figure out what I wanted to do on here. And in the meantime, I've started live streaming uh, every weekday again. I kind of worked out a schedule there finally. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern is when I start about approximately. And I also want to tell you about this promotion giveaway that I've been doing now. I just started for $20 Steam Wallet Cash. And uh, you can get the link below for that. It's johnofallgames.com slash Steam Wallet Giveaway. And it's one of those where you earn extra entries for tweeting and liking and following and subscribing and doing all of those things. And uh, it's a really good way to just spread the word and grow the John Vasion, you know, get our community to just grow a little more because that's honestly going to help me keep doing this full time. And it's just it's a good way to do a giveaway. I kind of like it. It's working out well. And as a future note, when this giveaway is over, I'm probably going to be doing a well, I know I'm going to be doing a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. So if this one works out well and we like how it goes, we'll keep doing that. But anyways, definitely if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. And check out all my links below, especially for the live stream. Come on over there, streaming daily. It's real fun, just good time. We got a great community, friendly people, and give out Steam games when we can. And also, like I said, that other giveaway and future ones planned. Big stuff planned. Okay, sorry for all of that rant. I know you're here to see the game, but I just kind of had to let everyone know that's a, a faithful subscriber what's been going on and what I have planned. So there's that. Okay, now let me show you some of Take on Mars. All right, so in Take on Mars, the object is to explore Mars and do missions. And, and also, which I just noticed, there's an editor. And uh, it's pretty neat, actually, in Bohemia fashion. It is smooth, and the landscapes and terrain are beautiful. And uh, you can set up missions and then upload them to Steam eventually. And you can see here we are at Victoria Crater on Mars. And uh, if it starts running smooth here in just a second... There we go. You can see we'll fly in here. We can see the rocks. We'll start showing up as we get in closer. And uh, this is where you would just set up a mission. You can uh, right-click to get out of the the uh, camera sort of mode and go here and add vehicles, objects, triggers, science targets, events. There's all your scenario tools. So apparently, I think you're able to actually create scenarios right now. I'm not sure if you can upload them to Steam. This is a very early access um, you are limited in quite a few things let's just back out of the creator there the editor because I don't have much experience with that I just went right into space program and when you launch into space program you'll be given the option of either doing real time or game time uh, real time is more like a hardcore mode in that it real time passes so uh, as as you are not playing the game I assume time keeps ticking away as it does in life and I don't know how that affects your missions or anything, but I chose game time because I'm a noob and I stink. And here's a Mars pimple right there. Okay, so let's hit continue game and I will show you what the uh, space, uh, not station, the space command, controls, control command center, da, ah, what's it called is. Oh, right. Actually, no. This was uh, my ship after I broke it. And I will show you how that happened in just a minute. So for now, we will disconnect from our... <laughs> little Mars rover there, science platform, actually. And here is the control center. Why, why can I not say that correctly? Anyways, command and control, all right? So for right now, all you your only options are click on the map. And so you go up to the map, and you'll see the missions available to you. Or the uh, this is actually the locations on Mars. And the first one that you're able to actually, you have to purchase intel or purchase, like, images, you know, uh, pictures to be able to do a mission. So anyways, the Victoria Crater is the first one you're able to do, and then there will be a mission right here. I did that mission, so then this one was unlocked, and then I broke my my uh, vehicle on purpose, sort of, which I will show you. But uh, so right now the vehicle that you have available is a science, um, science, what's it called? Science station. Oh, I just connected to my vehicle, which this one is actually also broken. The loading is quite quick. Um, wait, did this one, oh, science platform, right. I think this one might have repaired itself. Does that happen I don't know anyways uh, when you actually launch a craft from the beginning I will show you we will disconnect from this one and we'll abandon it 
Uh, the game auto lands. I'm sure that in the future, and as you progress through the vehicles, you have to control them in their landing. But this one was like auto lands. You don't do anything. You can take pictures on the way down. And um, oh, I did not even know that this was. What did I just do? Did I connect right to my craft? I didn't even know that I could click on these before. Okay, that's uh, that's that's that one. Right click to close that. Temporary results. You'll see they'll have leaderboards and and uh, things like that. Points for pictures and this sort of thing. So far, we've just been showing loading screens. Anyways, I didn't realize I could click right here on those. Okay, so that's our one vehicle. There's a second vehicle we have at Victoria Crater. I guess that's a quicker way of getting there. I didn't even notice that you click on those. Let's go back up to the map real quick, and I'll show you what it is like to launch a new uh, vehicle. Let's abandon this one. Of course, we'll lose the money. Uh, I hope I have enough money to actually launch another one. I don't know if I will. 386. Uh, I'm not going to. Hmm. Last edited vehicle, robotic arm. This one's on wheels. It shows one on wheels, but I don't think it's actually on wheels. I believe that this one is another science um, thing. I don't have enough money. Darn it, I can't even show you. So I'll have to show you in the video in a second that I re that I pre-recorded, and I'll just voice over commentary that um, what it looks like when you uh, first launch a vehicle on a mission and it comes in for a landing and all of that. But uh, so let's – oops, that's not how we do it. Let's back out of there. The other, only other place that I, that I know of that you can click around in here is going to the lab. Uh, looks like they have a little arcade game here, but it's got the early access stamp of disapproval. Not really, meaning uh, not available yet. Early access, coming soon. That's what that means. But apparently they'll have a little mini game there to play, which is cool. If you go to the lab like this, actually the first couple times you go there, you go through this sort of disinfecting steam shower, but it was kind of a long sequence, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to show you that right there. Um, this is where you'll be able to craft a vehicle. Um, that's a new vehicle. Uh, the, the, I wasn't able to actually buy anything extra, and so it's still the case. Actually, I don't have money, so that would be one reason. Um, see, everything says early access, so it means the stuff's here. There's like placeholders, and you know, but we cannot actually add any of these to my knowledge, at least, um, if I hit back here, yes, not exit the lab. Okay, back, load vehicle, basically loads the last vehicle I'm, I was able to use. So we started out with the science platform. This is the science platform, and um, it didn't have these solar arrays the first time, and it didn't have these little probes, instruments on the bottom in my first mission. The second mission, uh, which you'll see in a minute, that's the one that I have pre-recorded, uh, there's a soil tester and uh, something else I forget, and that is the. It was just it was just given to me, you know the the uh, the vehicle I guess it's called it was just given to me, and I don't believe you can edit these at all right now, but soon you'll be able to, and that will be pretty cool. You can make some wacky looking things hopefully, and just make them however you want, and and uh, and and I'm not completely sure. Maybe if I can uh, complete a mission, even though I wasted my budget. I, we might be able to see a vehicle with wheels if I can get to that. But uh, so far, when I played the first mission, science, um, command center, what, what, wow, I cannot remember. Platform, science platform, scientific platform is what it's called. Get that drilled into my head. It was the first one, and then the second one had a robotic arm and uh, yeah, camera, and so that's all there was available at the time to me. But I assume even in the early access, there might be a couple more vehicles available as you progress through the missions without destroying your vehicle or crashing or flipping it over like I tried to do. So um, let's see, that one is destroyed. How about I just show you now from the video that I recorded earlier how my mission kind of went and why I broke it and things like that. I don't let me. I don't think that mission was counted as an accomplishment because I broke the thing. Let me see, mission, mission details, priority, completion, 100%. Okay, I completed it, so I should have another mission available to me. And I do, let me see. Mm, do I? That's the vehicle. How do you get over there? Mission Dark Streaks. Mission Dark Streaks. Yes, we completed this mission. Um, I'm not sure how, I guess maybe I don't know that you're supposed to control your vehicle on the way down, but I was doing all of the controls and looking at the the key bindings and I didn't see a way of controlling my vehicle so I'm kind of confused by this let's see major worth 600 and I would have made money if the v if the mission was 100% if 
completed, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Like I said, I played a little bit this morning, recorded uh, my failings and taking pictures and things, but I don't know everything about this yet. I just assumed that a lot of things you weren't able to do, and I also assumed that the science platform, being that it didn't have wheels and things, just kind of auto-landed on its own. Um, oh no, this, this is a different vehicle, I believe. No, connect the vehicle, that is mine. Let's just connect to it again real quick and check it out. It's, uh, it doesn't move. It's just a platform, but yeah, I already, I already broke this. There you can see that little arm moving there. And what I basically did, I might as well, I might as well just skip the other video that I made, is uh, I just did this until it broke. I just wanted to see how far it would extend. And, uh, but I will show you the craft vehicle coming in for a landing. And uh, so I'll just do that now. We'll jump right to that. So this is what it looks like after there's a few pops. I didn't get that part on video. A few pops as you release from the rocket that brought you to Mars. And uh, this is me switching to the onboard cameras. You hold the space bar to bring up that little menu. And then if you want to get out of actual control of the camera, you right click. Uh, that allows you to go over to the right side of the screen there and select one of the different cameras on board. There's the wide frames, and then there's one that uh, then it telephotos in on one of them. You can turn on some LEDs around the camera to shine on what you're trying to take a picture of. Those are limited of use, of course, at a distance. And um, also, if you right click and then you uh, click on the left there, you can select the different cameras or instruments if you're in instrument mode. Uh, pressing Q is the way to access the different instruments. Down there where it says primary on the uh, left middle of the screen, if you press Q, that's how we switch to our instruments and different probes and arms and cameras. That's how you switch back and forth with that. And and in all, all of the game, when you right click, your mouse gets out of the actual control of the uh, arm or camera or whatever the case may be, so that you can then click on the actual buttons on screen or select different cameras and things like that. So as I said, uh, I don't really know of a way that you control the vehicles in their descent right now. I think they kind of do it automatically at this point in the game at least, or at this stage that I'm at, because I landed no problems and as far as I could look in the controls and pressing different things and or even my controller, uh, I could not control really what the ship did, although there was one point in my first mission when somehow, and I'm really not sure how, my uh, science platform tipped sideways and then was like propelling itself into the side of the crater. I'm not really sure what was going on there. Wish I had been recording that because I'm confused as to how it really happened here. I'm looking down, I'm looking up into space, uh, start taking some pictures of the crater from the outside. That was one of the objectives and uh, the camera will just kind of autofocus. There's the telephoto view zooming in on some of the rocks. I'm not quite sure what the red bars mean. I think when they're green, Sometimes it pops up and it's bigger in a green uh, sort of box. I believe that is a picture that they had wanted you to take. And everything's green right now because I'm in night vision mode. You'll see here in a second how I, uh, I'll turn off the night vision and play with the, the lights and things like that as I play with the instruments. Okay, so right here I was playing with the probes in first person <laughs> mode. Playing with the probes. Uh, the instruments, whatever, instrument arms, I guess they are. They look like they're probes. The probes into the ground. Anyways, and then I realized I needed to switch into third-person view, and I noticed that they were underneath of me and going straight down when I was pressing W and S. It was extending and retracting them. And so then I was like, hey, look, I can lift my ship up. This is kind of funny. And uh, then I broke it. So then here I actually did the soil test and uh, extended the probe correctly. Left-click to start the test. It collects sample, and then it analyzes it. Same thing with uh, air. An atmosphere in the first mission with the uh, only probe that you have on that platform but this one has that one and then I broke the other ones I don't even remember actually what the what the other instrument was but you'll find that out if you play it and uh, in future future playthroughs of this I'm sure we will see more instruments and more things so here is just me with the night vision off and the uh, sort of headlight is really just the light on the cameras turned on and uh, as I just mess around here you'll see me keep lifting my I have science platform up and doing things like that, but uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm going to play the game a little more because I'm not too experienced with it. We'll see about uh, if there's more vehicles and with wheels and things like that. I might actually play it over on the live stream like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You should totally come over there and follow, or actually save your follow and uh, go to the giveaway webpage of johnofallgames.com slash giveaway. link will be below. And uh, then follow and do all those things there to earn yourself extra entries, and I might play it over there. But it's a very interesting game, 
very cool looking who doesn't love space and uh, as it gets worked on and updated I will make more videos of it if that's what you guys want use your thumbs or your left fingers to click on the thumbs up and like this video if you think that it would make for some good gameplays as I uh, actually do a proper gameplay let's play of it and uh, you know talk while playing it instead of this is sort of over the game commentary and uh, thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it check out all those links below Sorry if you didn't like all of the sort of promotion and talking during this, but I've been away for a while and I just wanted to let everyone know what's going on and uh, kind of about my schedule. And so my schedule is YouTube and admin things in the morning, live streaming in the afternoon, and then just random live streams when I have the time or working on videos and just filling in where and whenever I can to make the most and uh, grow the John Vasion. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.